Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I look a little different today. This is actually a collab video with Michelle Fawn, Crispy Makeup, I am Karen O, and Jay Kissa. And we all are doing a theme on the Sailor Moon Black Moon Clan. So I'm really excited because I get to kind of play dress up. You guys have probably never seen me look like this. The character that I'm channeling today is Pet. She's a badass. So if you guys are interested in this makeup look, then keep on watching. All right, first I'm going in with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot as an eyeshadow base. I'm just gonna take a synthetic buffing brush and run that over my lids. So next I'm going in with a skin colored eyeshadow. I'm using the color Bare from the Lorac Pro Palette. And I'm just gonna run that over my lid. This is gonna make it easier to blend all the eyeshadows. Next, I'm gonna go into my Viseart palette here, and I'm gonna take this peachy shade with a blending brush, and I'm just gonna pop that into the crease. And as I get to this outer corner, I'm just gonna kind of flick it out. On the lid, I'm gonna go in with the Giorgio Armani eyeshadow in number nine. This is like a cream eyeshadow. It's just gonna kind of glisten light onto the lid. So now to kind of elongate my eyes a little bit, I'm gonna go in with some liquid liner. This is from NYC. We're just gonna try to keep like a nice thin cat eye wing, but you guys know how that goes for me. Every time I try to do a thin wing, it just gets out of control. Look it, I did it. So next, I'm gonna go into my lashes. I'm gonna be wearing <laughs> House of Lashes by Iconic. Now taking some tweezers, I'm gonna pop these on. Another trick I found with these lashes is popping them on from up top. So instead of coming at your eyes like this with the lashes, try to grab them from the center, open your eyes more, and then just kind of go Next, I'm gonna take some mascara and just apply it to the base of the lashes so that it blends with my natural lashes a little bit better. We're gonna do the concealer under the eyes. I'm using the Ace Rewind by Maybelline. Maybelline. Just gonna pat that on to brighten up the under eye. Probably gonna put a little bit on my nose. To... Is your butt ringing? It's okay, I'll allow it. And <laughs> now I'm just gonna blend out my concealer using my Real Techniques sculpting brush. I think I'm all red over here because this wig is just so itchy. Then to set the under eyes, I'm going into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and taking the banana shade on one of my new favorite brushes. This is by Japanese and it's the 915 brush. I've been loving this for the under eye. And I'm just gonna set all of that concealer and it's also gonna brighten our under eye a little bit. To open up my eyes a little bit more, I'm going in with the NARS Rue Bonaparte pencil, and this is a skin toned color. It also helps with the redness. Do you have any redness in the inner area here? Now I'm gonna pick up a neutral brown eyeshadow on a small detail brush, and you're just going to really make that lower lash line pop by shading right under the liner that we just placed in our waterline. I want to try to focus this mainly on the outsides of the eyes to keep them a little bit more. And lastly for the eyes, I'm going to go ahead and pop some mascara on the lower lash line. I'm going to do that off camera because you know my lashes are small. It's hard for me to see and focus on you guys at the same time. Okay, so with her skin, I want to keep it very fresh. I'm going in with a really nice highlighter. This one is by Natasha Denona, but this is in the shade 01 Light. And I'm gonna apply this with my MAC 137. I wanna give a more of like an angelic look with the skin. <laughs> apply a little bit of that on the tip of the nose. So I'm gonna just apply a little bit of bronzer, especially since I have this dark hair going on, you know? I don't wanna look too washed out. This is the, how do I say this brand? Guerlain? 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 Lapper. This is in the shade Terracotta, and I'm using a MAC 168 brush to apply it. Now it's time for the lip, which is what I think 
kind of pulls the whole look together. I'm gonna first line my lips using Night Moth Lip Liner by MAC. So I just decided I need to take my boobs off because they're just a little bit too large. They're sturdy. Okay, are you done making fun of me? <sighs> then you want to put some liquid lipstick on. This is by Anastasia Beverly Hills and it's called Midnight. So now you look pretty badass and the look is done.